Yo minasan, konnichiwa, this is Archie and today I'm going to teach you the different particles in basic Japanese language. So here are our particles here. This is only the basic particle. Okay, we have here a wa, ga, o, e, ni, de, to, ya, ka, and no. So since there are some many ano, particles here, so I decided to cut here or to separate here into two groups so today i'm going to teach you only these five particles because it is impossible to me to teach uh, them all in the very short time okay we have here a particle wa so in hiragana it is read as ha but if you use it at a, if you use it at a, as a particle so it is read as wa Okay, so wa is used to indicate the topic of the sentence. In short, this is our topic marker. Okay, so like for example, watashi wa aruchi desu. I am Archie. So I or si watashi, so this, the watashi is our topic. So I put wa after the subject of the sentence. Okay, so number two, ashita wa. Suyobi des tomorrow is Wednesday. So I also put here the particle wa after the ashta or our topic. Okay, so just keep in mind that uh, particle wa is is always in or is always after the topic of the sentence, and usually it is in the beginning of the sentence. Okay, so number three. Kore wa maka des. Okay? So wa. Kore means this. Okay? This is a demonstrative pronoun which means this. Kore wa maka des. This is marker. So, to indicate the subject or the topic of the sentence, we put the particle wa here. Okay? Do you understand? Okay, our next particle is particle ga. Okay, ga, uh, we have three usages in particle ga. So first is the subject of existence. So like for example, heya ni otoko no hito ga imas. Okay, imas. It is our verb means to be exist in animated things. Okay, so to be exist and uh, the otoko no hito is the our subject of existence. That's why. We use here the particle ga to indicate the subject of the existence. So you can see here the particle ni and the heya, which means the room. So particle ni is used to indicate the place of existence. Okay. So uh, the man is in the room. Okay. Those or there is a man in the room. So we indicate here, or we says it says here that. Uh, the the man is, is exists in the room. Okay, that's why we put the particle ni here or in the place to indicate the place of existence. Okay, so next example is michi ni kuruma ga arimas. So arimas means to be exist also, but in inanimated things. So kuruma or uh, the car is inanimated things and. We also use here the particle ga to indicate the subject of existence. Okay, but where the word is the kuruma exist? So the car exists in the street. So that's why we also use here the particle ni in the place where the kuruma, where the kuruma or where the car exists. So okay, let's read once again. Michi ni kuruma ga arimas. Okay, so basically, if you want to express you know, that there is something or someone exists in the uh, in the certain place, we also uh, we, usually, we usually use the particle ga and in imas and arimas. Okay, so please take note that. Okay, the next usage of the particle ga is used to indicate the things you like, dislike. Good at and poor at. So, like for example, watashi wa anime ga suki desu. Suki means like or love. So that's why I like 
or I love anime. So anime is also anime in Japanese. Okay? So we have here suki which means like so that's why we use the particle ga to indicate that we love or we like anime. So we have here the pattern the which is noun ga suki. No? Noun ga suki des. Okay? It is used to express the things that you like or the things that you love. Okay, the second one is watashi wa tabaku ga kirai desu. Kirai means dislike. Okay, so we also use here the particle ga to indicate that we dislike or we hate the cigarettes. Okay, so I hate cigarettes. Okay, so we have here the uh, the pattern which is noun ga kirai desu. Okay, we have two pattern here noun ga suki desu and noun ga kirai desu. Okay, so please remember these two pattern for you, uh, for you to express your own feelings or your uh, the things that you like or dislike. Okay. Okay. Our next sentence is Jan san wa basuke ga jōzu desu. So Mr. Jan is good at basketball. Jōzu means good at. So it says here that Jan is good at basket. So we use the particle ga here to express that Jan is good at basket. But take note this, you can use Jozu in yourself. Use Tokui instant. So like for example, I'm good at cooking. Watashi wa ryori ga Tokui desu. Okay? So our next sentence is Maria san wa uta ga heta desu. So, Miss Maria is poor at singing. So, uta means song or music. And heta means poor at. So, we use particle ga here to indicate that Maria is poor at singing. Okay? But if you don't want to hurt the feelings of someone, so I advise that you should use or you may use the amari jozu ja arimasen instead of heta. So like for example, amari uh, Maria san wa uta ga amari jozu ja arimasen. So in this way, so you can uh, you can hurt the feelings of others. Okay? Because it has a soft tone. Okay? Okay, the third and the last usage of particle ga in basic Japanese language is to indicate the subtopic of the sentence. So what is the subtopic of the sentence? So let me read the, par the sentence here. Tanaka-san wa karada ga okii desu. Okay, our topic here is Mr. Tanaka. So this is our topic and our subtopic is karada. This is the subtopic. So for for you to able to indicate the subtopic of the sentence, we use the particle ga here. Okay? And in the last sentence, we use the adjective to to explain or to express the condition of the subtopic. Okay? So let's read again. Tanaka-san wa karada ga oki desu. Okay? Tana Mr. Tanaka has a big body. Okay? Next, Kawanishi-san wa kami ga nagai desu. Okay, nagai means long. Okay, so as I said, as I said uh, earlier, uh, in the last sentence, we use uh, adjective here. Okay, to explain the condition of the subtopic. Okay, so kami is our subtopic here because we have here the particle ga. Okay, the topic, the main topic is uh, kawanishi san because we put here the Particle wa. Okay, let's read again. Kawanishi san wa kami ga nagai desu. So, our pattern here is uh, main main topic wa then sub topic ga adjective this. Okay. So please take note this pattern and you can use it uh, in your everyday or in your daily life. Okay? Okay, our next particle in basic Japanese language is particle O. Okay? So in 
Alphabet, it is written as WO, but it is pronounced as O. O is uh, used only for particles in Japanese. Okay, so O is used for the direct object of the sentence. So like for example, Watashi wa ringo o tabemasu. Okay, Watashi wa is our subject here. And the ringo is the direct object. Ringo is the direct object or our object. And tabemas is the verb which means to eat. Okay, in Japanese we write the sentence uh, like this order. Okay, subject, our subject is watashi, object is ringo, and verb is the last. Okay, when you construct the sentence in Japanese, you always put the sub, put the verb in the end of the sentence. So unlike in English, our verb in English is in the middle of the sentence, right? So like this one. So I eat apple. S V O subject subject verb object or direct object but in Japanese okay but in Japanese it opposite okay subject so we use here the particle wa which is the topic marker and we have here a noun or direct object which is ringo ringo means uh, uh, apple and we have a verb in the last of the sentence so in order to indicate the direct object of the sentence so we use the particle o okay next sentence watashi wa biro o nomimasu okay i drink beer okay we have here in english i is the subject drink is the verb and beer is the object or direct object but in Japanese, it's opposite, right? So, S-O-B is our pattern in Japanese. So, Watashi wa is our subject. Okay, this is S. Biru is our object. And Nomimas is our verb. And to indicate the object for... And, and to indicate the direct object of the sentence, we use the particle O. Biro o nomimas nani o nomimas nani o nomimas ka okay what do you drink oh biro o nomimas okay I want to drink beer or I will drink beer okay so do you understand okay our next particle for basic Japanese language is particle e in in alphabet it is written as he but if you use it as particle so it is pronounced as e Particle E used to indicate the place of direction. So we have here the sentence I watashi wa nihon e ikimas. I will go to Japan. Okay, we have new vocabulary here the ikimas, which means to go. Okay, so but where where I will go? So in to Japan. Okay, so Japan here Japan here serve as place of direction okay so that's why we need to put particle e after the place of direction to indicate the direct uh, the place of direction okay and this is the directional verb okay so of course we use the directional verb because we have a place of direction okay next uh, number two chichi wa ginko e ikimasu my father, which is in Chichi, will go to the bank. Bank here is the ginko, and ikimas is will go. So, this is our place of direction. That's why we put here the particle e, okay, to express no, the place of direction. Okay, but not only particle e, you can also use the particle ni indicate the place of direction so you can use it the particle ni okay then our pattern here is place of direction e or ni plus ikimas kimas and karimas you can also use it use this particle in the verb kimas which means to come or karimas which means to go home. So like for example, Ashita tomodachi wa watashi no uchi ni kimasu. 
Okay, my friend come uh, to my home tomorrow. And in Karimas, like for example, Shigoto ga watara, uchi e Karimas, I will go home after my work. Okay, I hope you can learn something for this pattern. Okay, the last particle, but not the least, is the particle ni. Okay, so particle ni has a three uses in basic Japanese language. So, as I mentioned earlier, place of existence is the first usage of particle ni. Like, for example, he, heya ni, otoko no hito ga imas heya ni. Heya is the place of existence. That's why we put particle ni here. And the second one, or the second usage of particle ni is the place of direction. So, like, for example, watashi wa nihon e, nihon ni ikimasu. Okay, Nihon is the place of direction. That's why we put particle ni here. And the last usage of particle ni is used to the specific time. Okay, used to express or to indicate when that particular action happened. So like for example, Watashi wa Rokoji ni okimas. Rokoji is 6 o'clock and okimas is our verb means wake up. Okay, so it always answer to the question when when you wake up now what time you wake up okay so it is answering that question that's why we have a pattern here the which is a specific time plus ni plus verb okay it is just, it is uh, necessary to put the verb in the after the ni and to express when or what time that the action happened. So next, Watashi wa Christmas ni kuni e kairimas. Okay, kairimas means to go back or to go home. And kuni means means country. Christmas is Christmas. Okay, but as you can see, we have no uh, specific time here like uh, Rokoji, Ichiji, Niji. But Christmas is the event. Or the occasion, right? So it is also considered as a specific time. So like for example, Valentine Day, which means uh, Valentine Days, or Shogatsu, which means New Year. So you can use uh, also particle ni if you want to express when the action happened. Okay? So watashi wa Christmas ni kuni e kairimas. I will go back to my country on Christmas. Okay? I hope. You can learn. Uh, you learn something in this video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for you to notify every time I upload the new video. And please watch also uh, my hiragana and katakana video, uh, video short tutorial uh, for you able to read uh, our hiragana and katakana characters. Okay. So thank you and see you again our, for our next session, our part 2 of Particles. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Otsukari-sama deshita.